Hey guys, Sprintin00 here. Today we're going to be working on map making, which is a series where basically we make a map. In today's video, we're going to be working on showing off the upgrades we already created and working on adding some few more and hopefully working on the forge. So in last video, we added the jump boost and the get slowness on your base speed one. Now we needed some more ideas and I actually came up with a new idea of what we're going to do. The way the forge works is you're going to be able to place you can place it on the red nether brick and on wool so what you can do is you can upgrade it even further so if I were to for example let me join skeleton actually team join skeleton okay um, if I place it here you'll see we get jump boost now so we can actually jump but we can take this a step further to get our haste one now th the annoying thing is it does take up a lot of sidebar space if I were just to activate every single one. Um, if I go into their base and activate the rest you can really see it happening. You can see first off I get glowing but it does take up a lot of space which I won't actually have the night vision but it does take up a lot of space so if I just clear my effects so you can see <coughs> we do have five different effects and it's all cycling really fast that way as soon as it's broken it goes away but the problem with that is it does take up a lot of space which is not preferred so we will probably just um, there's nothing we can really do to get around that but anyways the effects haste and jump boost obviously those are pretty easy enemy gets slowness or gl slowness in your their base so the base is defined by as soon as you step f inside this wall so now I'm actually standing on that you'll see I have slowness it's right there um, and I also have glowing which is another effect now I think glowing is really good because if they're trying to sneak in there's no invisible potions but it does help if they're trying to sneak in um, speed in your base so if you're in your base you'll get speed and that's nice just because you get some speed um, and you can upgrade speed even further to get speed on paths so when you're actually walking on any path you get speed now this means you actually if they have the slowness thing you get your walking speed in their base until you get onto their platform then you get your slowness as long as you're on this gravel path you're good now there's no actually gravel paths in the main area but I think it's fine just the way that is because it sort of counteracts it and of course you don't actually get speed to here but you can always get slowness so that way it's equivalent speed but was it, the others actually don't uh, uh, you can kinda see that the way it's working so you get like slight effects so that they get better I don't know what to do for bows maybe I'll make the bows to always do more damage bows is very cool so what it does is you can see I place some armor stands with creepy skulls because we're on the skeleton team. When you hold your bow and you start pulling back, you don't actually have to start pulling back. I'm not sure if you can hear the clicks, but it starts clicking and you get a nice zoom in effect to easily hit your enemies. And it goes away almost soon. What's nice about the zoom in effect is it works anywhere. The problem with it is you actually can't walk while zooming in. Well, you slow down. So, I'm trying to walk forward right now. And now I've stopped moving. The only way to move forward is if I jump. Jump and sprint. You see I'm moving ever so slightly forward. It's also very zoomed in. Um, now there are obviously ways to get around this. You can just do something like this. Whoa. And that you could see really close. I think as you can even zoom in with this. So will always have the upper hand with your zoom. And I think this looks really funny because it looks like really close to Optifine zoom which is what I was kind of hoping for. There's a way to do that. Um, so 
it's a nice little feature, I think. And it, it really does help out for... Now, it's only meant for the archers, obviously, because they're the ones that start off with the bow. But if you were to step on your archer tower, you can easily get some good snipes in. Because you have such a nice little zoom-in thing. Um, now, the map's actually not that big, so it's not like it's super needed. But I do think it helps. One of the reasons it's not too big is so that way you don't have to worry about having a high render distance. Um, that's nice. The other reason it's not super big is, well, so I don't have to build a huge map, and um, that's pretty cool. So we went over those. Now, what we're actually going to do today is we are going to have to make the normal forge, so that way we can add the two times forge, so your forge goes twice as fast, and you can even upgrade it so it gives you redstone. Um, so the way we have to do this is we have to set up a timer to summon the items, and we need to even take this a step further to detect, well we have two options, we could detect if the player is standing on it, and then every player standing on it gets an item, or we could just summon the items, so I think we're going to do it the second way, so the player standing on it, if they're not, then just summons items. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we just want to get the coordinates, now I'm just going to, super easy to get these coordinates, we just have to write them down, copy and paste them, and let's go back down. Um, okay, so now we just want to, why don't we put the forge right here, I guess, and the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, uh, no, this is S timer, wait, right, wait, B timer, R timer, so redstone, sugar, yeah, this is basic, okay. Okay, and actually, wait, before we get into this, I want to do something. Okay, so in case you're wondering, the bow zoom, we detect if they're holding, or we detect if there's a block here at green space, and if they are holding a bow, if their MBT is holding a bow, we add zoom. And then, for this, if there's, for this basically for the group, right? This is the interesting one. So, unless the player... You know what? This is not going to work, actually. Okay, do command. Uh, we set their score if it's not. If they're not holding bow, and that should work. Yep, it does. Okay. Um, and then, if they're in between 25 and 40, we give them slowness, and we play, or, and then we just keep giving them slowness, higher level, every 15, then we get up to this one where it's actually a bigger gap, it's 25, then, if their score is 25, we play the sound, and we just keep doing that, and that's how that works. Okay. So yeah, let's get right into the um, commands for this. So what we're first going to need to do is we want to see how far below this actually is. And you'll notice we put some nether warts right on the forge. So what we have to do is we have to do execute if block minus two is nether or what is it? It's another words block. Yeah, there it is. Run, say, lol. So it's not two. Why don't we try three? We didn't say lol. Why don't we try one? Actually, okay. We said lol, so it's one block below us. So now what we need to do is we just want to do, ooh, that's, we lost the coordinates. We're going to have to get those back. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to do scoreboard. And we're actually going to go put this with the other. Here's, is this it? No, this is bow zoom. So here's where the, these are, I believe. Yeah. So, 
we're, what we're going to do is we are just going to copy this for now and at and it's B timer when it reaches no oh, we're not going to summon an item yet and when it reaches over 200 we're actually going to swap the order of this just so it's a little bit easier okay so when it reaches a score of 200 it's going to reset now the reason we're going with such a no we need to actually set this to B timer and this to B timer the reason we're going with such a high timer is not because every 200 spawns so that way the, that way the redstone will only spawn a 200 which is actually 100 because you'll be going twice as fast we have to assume so now what we do is now we want to do okay this is where it gets complicated so what we have to do is we have to do first we have to get the coordinates so do that and this is creeper space I believe right yes we're at creeper space so negative 25 1 11 that's where we'll be summoning the items just gonna fall down here and now we want to do backslash execute unless or execute at add e team equal creeper alright then we want to do unless lock and we said it was one below nether warts Is it? It's nether underscore warts underscore block. No, there's no underscore here, right? Let's check. Nether warts. Nether underscore wart block. Okay. Unless it's that block, we're gonna run the command. So, okay, and the and the command we're gonna run is gonna be summon item. And we're just going to copy this for easy sake. So we're going, we're going to lose our coordinates again, aren't we? We are. So now we have to go back up here. Get those coordinates for a third time. Negative 2, 3, 5, 1, 11. We want to paste in these coordinates. Now we want it to be in the center, so we can just leave it like this. So summon item, those coordinates, and we want to summon gun powder one. Now we have to join creeper. So team join creeper. And we have to actually fix this. It's lowercase, we did all lowercase. Um fly up real quick. Now we're not standing on it, so that is super fast. As soon as we stand, as soon as we stop standing, it goes off. Okay, great. Now we just have to do one more thing to add to this little cycle. We have to do as add e tag equal or and what was the tag we said? It was forge tag equal forge okay and then we want to do score b or now nope scores equal b timer equal we'll say 15 I think this is right let's just take all those and we have to wait for it to get to 200 there we go. Now don't worry, it's not actually going to be just 15. And, oh, you know what we should do? Hmm. Okay, no idea. I'm going to set this to 100. It's going to be 25. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Okay, this is a good idea. This is a good idea. 
fifty. Seventy five. One hundred. Low stone dust. Let's check. Is that what it's called? Yep. Okay. Okay, this seems to be working really nicely. It's all spawning in this nice little thing, and I like that. Now what we do is now we have to change this up. Okay, so what we have to do now is now we need to copy these five commands, but change them ever so slightly. So now what we have to do is we have to do if block underscore then what we want to do is run give at p because we're doing the location of the closed entity we want to give them gun powder let's write one just for clarity's sake and we're going to copy this this will be 50 copy this this will be 75. Copy this. This will be 100. Copy this. This will be glowstone dust. Now we want to just fly back up here. And let's see if that worked. Or how well that worked, I should say. We are getting the items. Let me stand off of it. It is spawning the items. Great. Now we have to do the exact same thing, but for the skeletons. So what we need to do is first we need to get the skeleton coordinate. So that is 38. No. 38. 51. 4. Let's copy you. Fly down here. Commands are over here, I believe. And let's get that done. So what we have to copy is basically all the commands we just did, but change a few slight values. So first we need to take this, 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 this and one more. But we'll do that after. Or actually we can place it twice and I'll just write glow stone dust okay now what we need to do now right now they're getting oh gosh okay so here's here's the last one so we'll just put a little marker or you know what just to make it easy we're going to put creeper head here 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 well yeah let's just do it like this okay and or you know what let's only put right on the edges and skeleton here and all the way over here so now it's nice and easy to see where it ends where it begins because we have these little markers so now what we need to do is now we need to change this so instead of it being team equal creeper we want it to say skeleton and we want to summon it at these coordinates. I'm going to do that like a billion times and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we have that. Now we just have to test this. So, let's see. 75, 100, we should get both. 25 worked. Let's just clear inventory so 100 we only got one that's an issue 50 25 not work 
Okay, so two of them aren't working. So, you've checked this, and it should t t skeleton. Hmm. And this one should be working. So, why don't we fly up? Oh, you know what? This is 75. We need one for 100 as well. Okay. 75. This 75 is what? 100. This 100. 75. 50. This one didn't work. Why did this one not work? Huh. Wait, did 50 work? Or was it 25 that didn't work? Oh, it was 25 that didn't work. Okay. We got this down now. And this one needs to be... No, this is good. This one needs to be... Gunpowder. Let's fly up here. Make sure this is all working nice and good. Let me just... Okay. 25 worked. 50 worked. 75 worked. 100 worked. Okay, great. Now we're just going to clear inventory, so 75, 100, 25, 50. Perfect. So that works. Okay, so next what we have to do is to make the forge be able to go twice as fast. Oh, no, one more thing we have to do. So, this is a bug. You can see, ready for some cool bug skills going over now? Yep. Yep. And so what we have to do is we have to specify which game mode. Now, what I'm going to do just for editing sake, like we would probably put them in to adventure mode. That's what it's going to be. But for these four, you know, five commands to here and then here to here. Right? Yep. Okay. Those five commands, we need to, this one, um, what we need to do is we need to, let me think, oh yes, we need to do, is it M or did they change that? Let me do, say at A, M equals creative, mode equal creative. Game mode. We don't need the two modes. Yes, so it's game mode equals. Okay. So now we just need to do comma game mode equals exclamation mark spectator. And let's just make sure this works. Yep, it does. So what we do is we just come over to here, paste that in, come over to here, paste that in, come over to here. Okay, that's weird. Just a few more to go. Sorry about that, that was, I don't know what that was, but it stopped now. So that's good. And we just got two poor. One last rod ready. Two. Now we want to fly over here in our good old spectator self. And I'm already seeing another problem. Let me just slow myself down. You can see it's not spawning anymore, so we're going to have to do those ones as well. But. If I go into creative, we should still get them. One. Four. Spectator. We are not getting anything, but none is spawning. We gotta fix that right away. So I'll just add in that thing. All I have to do is just see where it says creeper right here. And I just have to do this a whole bunch of times. Now 
Now we just have to do that to these ones. Got a few more to do. So close. Okay, we are officially done with that. Now if I go into spectator, we should still get our forge spawning nice and good. Did we break the forge? Oh, no, there needs to be one person alive. Okay, so what what's happening basically is it's not detecting any players for it so there needs to be at least one person alive now that is pretty nice actually um, of course by the end of the game it will be over so it doesn't really matter but that's basically what's happening um, so that's good so we just have a few more things to work out we have to now make the upgrade these two upgrades so redstone forge we're going to save for a later date but times two forge is really easy all we have to do is just get the coordinate so we are pa facing positive Z. Grab this. Now I believe I actually put a space in between those. Did I not? I did, but that's for bow zoom. So yeah, we're just going to leave. So we're going to ignore that actually. We'll take this command block. And we are just going to... 2 to the positive Z. We want to we can get rid of basically all this oh, I got rid of too much so at okay so now all we have to do is just grab this command oh my gosh I did not think this through it will make the forge twice as fast for oh you know what we hmm, we'll make the forge twice as fast for the skeletons and the creepers you know why don't we just do why don't we change this so I have an idea. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to say 125% more gun powder. Or no, not 125. Whoa, that would be too. 25% more gun powder. 100% more glowstone. That doesn't fit. How about we just do... more materials yep that works um, so it's 25% more glowstone or no 25% more gunpowder 100% more glowstone so basically you just get one extra piece of each and all we have to do to do that is just copy this command see this we just copy that come over to this paste this in and we removed this execute. Okay, now we're just going to copy this command completely, change this to I already messed this up, didn't I? Yep, I did. More complicated than I thought. So what we have to do is we have to actually copy the last give command, which is or er, the last two of these and the last two of these. Now we're on the skeleton side. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, and we have to do... Gosh, this is getting way too complicated right now. Copy this. Come over here. Remove this. Execute. Paste that in. Done. Copy this. Remove this. Execute. Paste that in. Done. Copy this, remove this, execute, paste that in, done, and last. Okay, let's see if it worked. 
basically when the score reaches 100 you get extra materials so yep we got extra and it should also spawn extra materials if I'm not wrong it reaches 100 I did see two glowstone All right so we have one there two there one hundred boom yep that's that's the exact amount we should have gotten okay so that works for skeletons we didn't have this block here so that shouldn't have worked okay now we have to just okay this is this is going great so if block oh we forgot to change the coordinate okay I'm not going to retest this, I know this works now. But yeah, we need the correct coordinate, that might be useful. Um, okay. So yeah. We still have some more work to do, we still have to have the other forge um, upgrade, and we also need to make redstone forge a thing. I'm actually going to do that through the redstone forge, so your forge is as fast as a redstone forge. And it's not affected by the mat more materials, though that doesn't really matter. Um, or I might even just do it the way we did with the glowstone, the extra materials. Might just copy that. We will have to see. I can't wait for this. This is coming along pretty great. Still have a lot more features to add in, like the respawn and the villagers where you buy materials. Uh, the way to fly up here. Because there's got to be a way, and I think Reaper's talking about a levitation pad maybe. I think that would definitely be cool have a lot more work to do. I think the map is looking pretty great actually. Just getting my like scope view. And here if I actually just fly in. You can see it's pretty nice. It's got some de it's de got some definite areas I very much would like. And it de definitely with the bow zoom. There's lots of open areas for PvP. This is probably the most closed in area course you do have your um, little defense here and we should probably actually change this so it comes along like this because otherwise they can go through this one so that might be something we work on maybe make a few tweaks to the map but that's not this episode this episode we worked on the forges that's almost done we already have our kit set up we need to make a respawn mechanism detect when the pistons broken we have a lot more work to do, but it's coming along great. Um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this map making series, be sure to leave a like. Um, so I know you guys are watching it. You guys are liking it. I think it's pretty fun to just try and problem solve and work on finding the new ways the new commands work in 1.13. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. And wait. Oh my gosh. Glowing works. Is that a bug? I really want to know if... I'm really curious now. But we'll save that for a future episode. Thanks for watching, guys. And that's it. See you in the next video.